Purple Vitality here on Mirage. So let's see who is the temporary champion. First Dude. day of groups and it's kicking off. Clave and Farley just tapping away with those pistols. Ed Astralis have been doing very good at winning pistols today. Uh, definitely versus NIP on Ancient, two for two. And looking like the first one here on Mirage. Glaive again, just perfect. Zywu left over, but when Zywu's left over, things get weird. I remember a really good round from him mm -hmm. in a specific situation in a one on five. Yep, but they line up and they make sure they hunt him down. I think Glaive started salivating when he jumped out of the window and they immediately did their fanatic window smoke and he's just sitting there because he had the perfect angle to stop the connector push. And then him and Farley just pieced him up in mid. That was beautiful. Nice clean taps. Nice. Whoa! Let's go! There you go. So we, again, going back to the OG game, fantastic CT side from Astralis. They're looking to just do that again in maybe a different order, right? But a lot of love and attention towards middle. Great CT side followed by a great T side. Lots of aggressive pushes, very dynamic. Ooh, this one's over. Yeah. See ya. Three kills for Blame F. Easy spray down. I Let's still, not even talk about it. Yeah, I still picked Vitality to win this game just because I feel like they're the, they've got the, they're good at Mirage and they've got a team that should eventually be better than Astralis. But I don't know if they'll win today. Yeah, in terms of today, now that Config has bounced back from that first map. Yeah. You know, we've we've seen again. That form, that is, I think, the kind of form that could take a vi you know, a challenge to Vitality. It was on Mirage as well. But we didn't know it was going to be Mirage. Mr. Window Smoke. And there's plenty of time for Astralis to drop the ball. Mind you, CT side. That's a nice little layer of comfort that Astralis get to kick this one off with. Production, can we find out who missed their Window Smoke? and then beat them <laughs> in a video game in Minecraft. <laughs> Apex at the front. Ooh, we saw that trajectory, but that's just going to be tunnel vision. Nobody cleared this yet. Back's turn. Zipix, easy pickup. But we do still have Apex down on that bomb site, and Zaiwu would love to join him. But as he comes around that smoke, he doesn't get killed for that. Apex another Ooh. through the edge of the wall, and the last player gets caught. Guns bode well for Vitality. Yeah, I think that was a firepower diff. That was like a, he had a uh, he had a really good spot. Okay, we just learned that it was magic. Oh. Uh, but they still won the round, so. Then no beating. No beating, it works out just fine. Damn, they, they set up pretty well. Got their kills for a second. It looked like they were about to get their kills and then felt like a house of cards. Quick fight in mid setup, but Dupree and Zywu eat those flashbangs. Throw some HEs in there. Glaive's really going for it, and Zywu's going to punish him accordingly. Blame F, not too far away. Still stuck in the open, and Zywu sticks both. Headshots. After headshots and a third potentially versus config, but it's Dupree to trade that one out. So double man advantage. And now we're going to start to see a little desperation for Astralis. Farley wants to take a fight and he wins it. That desperation could be a solution. Had he been given a chance to fall back into that bomb site, Zipix found out in fighting, but down to 48 health. A second kill is his. Zipix in a clutch versus Dupree 2022. Yeah, let's see if four years felt like a long time ago for him. This is a potentially huge round on the table. Unfortunately, he's game gambling in the wrong direction. Doesn't mean he's out of it, though. Could make his way back to B eventually. But for now, Dupree calls him out for leaving his position. Has an open plant. And I mean, I think as far as he's, he's concerned, he has an open site for the next few seconds. So I expect him to kind of take some space back here. How many clutches? of Zipix as Dupree watched in first person. Figures out the right site. Now he's just got to finish off the 16 HP that's left, and he times that peak perfectly. Uh, you know, there's there's nothing objectively correct that Zipix could have done there. He either goes back to A side, because Dupree would naturally go there, but he didn't know where Dupree was starting from. So if Dupree was on the A ramp, he's just going to plant on the A side, and Zipix would meet him. But in this situation, Dupree was still mid. Uh, so without that info, 
I think, uh, you know, it makes sense why Zipix leaves. Two to two. Pistols up here for Astralis. And, uh, yeah, definitely a Vitality looks slick enough to be able to win these harder positions, but game's not over. Oh, okay. Apex is nice and sharp. Lots of bodies inside connector here. Him and Dupree are going to have a feast of frags made easy by that gap between the AKs and the pistols. So he sees so many CTs, he's like, they're just going to flash over mid. That's <laughs> an insta. Quite simple for him. So no fumble from Vitality. However, it is Astralis back in with their guns. No op. And we saw a lot of ops coming out of Astralis on that CT side earlier versus OG. You know, a lot because that consistent double op with Farley and Config. Curious to see if they try to run that back versus Zywu. But for now, the economy just can't cut it. Apex again, quick into the action. Catches Glaive over towards triple, but there's a player down beneath him. Config sees the feet, takes off the head. 4v4 right back at it, and a lot of bodies still here towards this A site from the Danes. Yeah, this is the most interesting part, really. I mean, he saw Farley cross the stairs, two on A confirmed. That might be enough that will lead you over towards the B site, so I, it really comes down to if the Astralis are going to doubt themselves and shift over, or if they'll chill. But some time passes, and it looks like they both agreed to try to be as composed as possible. While well, I'm still hanging out. And does Conflict have a flash? Yeah, he actually might be able to flash after the smoke comes up. Ooh, they're all setting up for it. There it is. Blame F. Clean headshot. Immediate evacuation back up to the stairs. And that's going to leave two players on each side of Con. Now maybe here's where they can shift. But oh, Blame F was still inside connector. Sphinx will get a trade eventually back for Vitality. But it's man advantage Astralis. And nothing they can do to stop that. 30 seconds left. Yeah, it's killing the clock. It's top con smoke. Making their call, heading towards A. Config watches Palace. Farley left a slight opening there towards Connector. Of course, CT's going to be aware of it. Farley doubling back. Dupree, he's able to cross over to Bench, and with a grenade in his hand, Sphinx goes down. Dupree, 1v3, 15 seconds left. Farley burns. He just burns. In its entirety. And off of the plant, he Dupree comes back. What? Zipix in through jungle. Eight seconds left. Another Dupree versus Zipix. The wall bang's not quite there. And the chance for Dupree to get off of that site sure is. But he doesn't go all the way to CT. He sticks around in smoke. And Zipix just doesn't know. It fades. And so does Dupree's chance as Zipix presses close oh. with the headshot for Astralis' his third. Oh, man. That would have been pure magic from Dupree. I don't know about you, but I was just staring at the HUD, watching Farley's health disappear as he's sitting in the jungle, Molly. What What was that? I, don't, I, don't, I wonder. I don't think he was blind or anything, so that almost became possible. But uh, Zipix finally finds his clutch and saves it, saves the day. Oh, man. <laughs> There's almost too many tragedies in a row. Yeah, yeah. Config going for that second jump up instead of just swinging wide on the first box. But... Zipix is there to recover. So Zipix versus Dupree, one to one. Yeah. I think he thought because the smoke didn't cover CT properly, the plant must have been on the far side of triple. It does make you wonder, you know, why why put the bomb down there if someone could have been CT. Damn man, Farley USP. Left his gun in spawn. <laughs> you got it. Forgot to buy. Only gets a Fomus. Best in the hands of the French. The question is, is it the best at killing the French? Because that's mm. what he needs. Yeah, he certainly does. Still haven't gotten to see that op on Astralis' side. Config, Fomus instead. Tries to hold towards top mid. Saiwu. Oh, on a silver platter. What a shot. <laughs> Can't believe it. Still gets the assist as Dupree finishes off Config, but Farley's here and connect. Oh, Ooh. Apex through smoke. Surely he saw nothing. Oh, that's a magic bullet. Damn, Astralis just got put in a blender. Blame, though. He's got, oh, he's got an interesting spot. They pull out a grenade. They get away from him. And he doesn't get the kill. Are you kidding me? No way. Oh. Dupree gets around the corner. Barrel blasts him point blank. And then that open B bomb site for Vitality is going to give us that 4-3 lead. You never see that happen in Blame. I still need to know how Farley died to that Molotov. Yeah. 
what I'm picturing is that he's in that he's in that corner. Molly lands near it. Yep. He looks at it. I'm Doesn't good. spread. I'm good. Yep. When it spreads, you can't leave. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. It's gotta be. The thing was, he could have got out. There was no other players there. I don't think. Sometimes you you trust that intuition a yeah, little too that's much. True. And it's it's slightly random. The, the spread is a little random. One small fact is that the the molly expands in the direction that you throw it. Yeah. Yeah. When it hits the ground, so that can help you figure out a little bit. As it should. As it should. Yeah. You know, I'm no scientist. Yeah. Or physicist. Yeah. Or physician, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Not a doctor. And then here it is. So yes. into the corner, yeah, burning the whole time. Okay. Into this corner, still burning. Yeah, still burning. Yeah. All gave right. up. Sometimes we all want to give up. Yeah. yeah. It's, and, you know, Farley knew Zippix was alive, so let him clutch. Yeah. So one round lead here. An off-putting situation for Astralis to have to try and deal with the economy. One CT round win sprinkled into Vitality's success, and it leaves Zippix solo AK. No armor on anybody else either, so this should be a nice, clean one from Vitality, but they have lost a few of these anti-ecos today. Don't want to let that happen again. Apex will have an aneurysm or something, and we don't need that at the start of the season. You say an andersism? Andersisms. <laughs> No, that's when you, like, completely fry up. Yeah. Got to reboot the system. Which is good for you every once in a while. Nothing to stress about here. No, nice and quiet. We're at the minute mark and nothing's happened. Too quiet. Well, Astralis will be happy to find out what site it's going to be in a second. Config sitting silently beneath the window. Farley almost dead to another Molotov. And Config does come up with the USP frag, but it's not going to be another. Whew. Quick turn from Sphinx there. Keeps himself alive on 32 with a double kill to his name. And only Glaive left between him and Vitality's fifth. Yep, so the NB on the Antico. The stacks come out. You only get a kill. One kill. For the moment. And there but she goes. It's been a pretty hectic game so far. A few of the, the rifle rounds that we've seen already have already been offered up some ludicrous moments. I feel like the culmination of this match is going to be pretty exciting. But let's see if Astralis can keep it close in the, in the meantime. No op coming down, and we saw that Astralis, their best on CT side, had two ops. He didn't make it, but he still got a teammate to boost, right? Yeah, yeah, they're recovering it. And luckily for them, nothing too, too fast in the underground play is a little slower. But still inbound regardless. Okay, so this is kind of a, a fakey idea. I mean, because you don't have anybody supporting from top mid, you have to really be patient about coming out of the underpass. Uh, Convict's in a perfect spot, man. Oh! He gets the dink, but not the kill. Magisk ends him. Farley goes for the commitment on the spray. Luckily, Glaive picks one up as well from inside of that A-site. You know Config's heart just melted for a second. Ah. But luckily for him, his teammates pick up those pieces and it's man advantage Astralis. Not to mention Magisk so wounded. But yeah, that one's going to bruise Config's ego for a second. He'll be all right. Yeah. That's a pocket strat, you know, something you don't do very, you know, won't do probably twice a half, but you throw it in every once in a while. You gotta be hoping they're not watching in connector to underpass. They don't have a aggressive mid setup. You're hoping Config is in, this, in the spot that he was. And even though they still get that kill, they lose both on the A ramp. However, Sphinx, they'll try to make the most of this. That's one back and one spotted. Zywoo looking for the trade, but a missed shot and Glaive stamps his name on round number nine. Gives Astralis another one. Three kills within it, nice and easy. As they tried to come up connector, he shut it down. 
Made sure to shave one off ramp once Farley gets this first one. Love that Farley disengages. Let's Glaive come at it from another side of a different smoke. Yeah. Kept by Tal. In ways they didn't expect. So there it is. Farley picks up the first off. Full strength buy here for the CT side. It looks like back to mid for Vitality for the time being. Too wild, nothing too crazy. Astralis gonna give a little space over. No longer is config inside of the window nor the ladder room, but just kind of tucked in on cat. Back to the norm for now. Saiwu so looks to take to the front of this. Oh, they're going fast. Yeah, very quickly starting to push up. Look at that. Catches config off guard. Oh, but Zipix gets both those cat players down a third. Trio of kills from inside this B site. A dink into Sphinx with the pistol. And Zipix has done all the damage he needs. He turns it back to Cat. Oh. Gets himself a fourth versus Apex. And he hunts that ace, but Sphinx denies it. A double and almost a third for him as well. But this game's tied at five apiece. Man, I wanted him to make it five so bad. Zip, what a round. And that would have been the one that you could prove that Zip today has played some of his best B anchor that we've seen from him. Uh, in recent memory, is back-to-back -back games on Mirage on CT side where he has been the beginning and end of the round. Teammate dies straight up. He's in his usual position. Instantly turns it into four frags and does most of the damage needed for the last one. Glory to the B players. Yeah. <laughs> for once. All hell Zippix. Apex just gonna walk out. Config so tucked behind that firebox. Starting firebox. Whoa, oh. all the way into connector. Finally, we get that deep peek out from Config. That was the only AK that Vitality had to work with, so nice to see it at least get thrown into the mix. Could have gone crazy had uh, Config not come out for the trade, but he'll finish off Zaiwu. Frag destined for Magisk, drops him to 17 HP. And this one will get swept under the rug quite easily from Astralis. They've got themselves a lead now on this CT side. Well, not now, but soon. Yeah. Yeah? Th right? They've got the lead, right? It's coming. I mean, it should be under wraps. Uh, uh. I mean, it's just, yeah, no problem, man. No uh, Wait a second. No, don't you do this. Don't you dare. <laughs> Dupree. <laughs> Two kills with the P250. Config's coming back around from market, but he got tagged up early, so he's 30 health. He finds the timing, though. He slides out, starts to miss a couple shots, and recovers. Jumps Ooh. back into market. They still think <gasps> it could be A and Config, guys. No. Two pistols left. Glaive, the only player left to stop this from happening. An absolute fumble. Astralis. You had to say something. They were supposed to have the lead, and they could still easily do it if Glaive can just clutch this 1v2. We're talking unarmored Magisk and Sphinx. Glaive now making noise. They know exactly where he's at. Oh, he fumbles it all, and Vitality kick him in the teeth. There's no way. They'll get the lead eventually, wow, right? Wow, yeah, they'll got him both. I made, up, I made up that number, by the way. I don't know how much they get. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're just going to steamroll, man. Man, not even a pause off at the back of that for Astralis. So just going to have to uh, mm, enjoy the flavor. Probably tastes and feels like garbage. But they're going to have to deal with this. That's Vitality back with the lead. Like I always thought. And uh, Astral is having to wait a little while. Yeah. CT's the good side. Yeah, that it is. You know, T, T side's side, fine, though. Yeah, it was fine. improved. You yeah. know, it would definitely. We didn't even improved. get to see the full T side because they won, you know, so it'll still be great. It'll be a movie. Yeah. Oh, that reeks of copium. Yeah. Ooh. Magic skin from Cat. Blame F hands on an AK. Still plenty of time to also go towards the A site. In fact, Bomb's already heading in, so this will be a cleanup duty for Magisk with another double to close it. I thought I had a smoke again! 
earlier today in Pit on Inferno. Magus yeah. tries to put out an incendiary and throws a flashbang. Yeah. And he pulled out his smoke so fast, he did put it out with like 4 HP left over. Somehow survived. And then here he doesn't die for a similar mistake, which is hilarious. He did a good job of sectioning off those angles, though, when yeah. he's looking at those fights. So good recovery. Landed on his feet. I don't think he would have been laughing at the end if he, if he died there. Good recovery. That was good. Gets away with it twice. Farley going for a deeper angle. Easy does it versus Dupree. That's bomb spotted as well. Confirmed outside the B site. And he backs it up. MP9 by his side in the hands of Zipix. Vitality hit that reset button real quick. And well, Magis again out middle early. So an easy rotation for Vitality. They're going to bolster him instead. Such a weird pace to this game. I mean, it's actually provided some of the most funny rounds. Yeah, that's a word for it. Yeah, interesting. Unique rounds. Mm, unique. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, okay, you know, listen, I'd rather have five players, but positionally, I think I'd rather be Vitality. We've got connector play coming in. They have Palace as well. Big pinch. Config gets around into the corners of ramp. Oh, there's the fight. He actually comes back for it, but this sets up the MP9. Glaive could go huge. Drops bomb. 40 seconds. Magis last shot. Whoa. Gets the kill. Recovers bomb. Goes for the plant. But the CTs, as they peak, are met by Zaiwu. Great the cut. numbers were there for Astralis, but positionally, great A split. Yeah, they got... It's not just that they got a connector. It's that no one saw them get in the connector. They saw someone going towards a ramp. And then the information wars of 2022. Yeah. So, that's well done from Vitality. I feel like a couple of these last bullet kills also made a big difference and a nice opener from Farley. He was somebody I said, I, I feel like he was having trouble with opening frags. I mean, he wasn't dying too much, but in terms of bringing an impact, I feel like he wasn't finding much. Uh, and that's a position where he goes for something a slight bit unique. And I think that's all you have to do. Go a little bit deeper than is natural. Jump up on that cabinet. Look for a kill. Okay, I got the, the kill in the last bullet. Yeah. Check. It wouldn't see it wouldn't have even been as impressive if he had 30 bullets. Exactly. So that's how strong this silence M4 is. Live stream where he plays nuke six hours a day every day. Mm. That was amazing. Oh. Slow crawl through the murder hole. As the solo AK and solo op of Astralis hope to keep vitality off nine. They're shooting for that 10-5 T-side Mirage. Mm -mm -mm. It's quiet. Astralis seem to have a lot of questions. Is late, late mid attack coming in? Vitality have not, you know, overly used this A hit. Come the smokes, and oh. there goes Glaive. So, one of the pistols down, but the threat still loom near. Zipix blinded, waiting for a chance to strike. Maybe Config sets him up with that Desert Eagle underneath. He's got a little gap, but nothing to shoot at. Farley, point blank, ended by Magisk. And that's going to take a lot of pressure off of this situation, if there was any to begin with for Vitality. Bomb plant and a quick tap. Zipix sent to bed, and as Config gets his hands on the AK, he also gets toppled. So it is only blame F between Vitality and their very comfortable ninth round win. Yeah, so would have taken some luck. Maybe the op getting a kill adds some pressure, but ultimately, yeah, Vitality don't seem too concerned. They're doing well. I think they can trust almost everybody they look beside, and... Uh, yeah, there's no there's no no real problems here. Nice frag from Magisk. We move into the last round of the half, and I think Vitality can bring the shoulders down a little bit. Apex with more than 180 R, the only player in the server with a stat like that. 12 yeah. and 9. He was really hard on himself too after the first map. He said we were playing 4v5 and we still won. <laughs> Ooh, missed shot from Farley. Dupree just a little too agile. Yikes, the flash came through, but it didn't blind Dupree, and then Dupree gets three. Nicely done. Follows up into config, catches Zipix on the hop up. Blame F gets iced out. And with that P250 up catwalk, uh -huh. he still wasn't even that inspired.
Yeah, he was man. just chilling. Another one half, man. Another one half, man. Yeah, it's still who knows if you're going to win at that point. More perspective, it's like, okay, this is this is crazy. All right, Astralis, five rounds. And they win a pistol. Yeah, we said improved T-sides, but this would have to just be lights out. They're going to make this one happen. Matches. Oh! Shut up. Dayul. Doesn't get worse than that. Sphinx comes through with the third. And with that, we're talking four versus two for Vitality. A bomb plant bodes well, but the headshots hit better. And there it is. Wow. Sphinx with three to close. Magisk, I don't even think he saw that second Dude, one. Dude, the thing is, they, they gave him a one way. I don't, I was going to say, I don't like that smoke. Obviously, they have a plan for how they're going to use it. There's no way they missed their jungle smoke, right? So they didn't smoke, they, didn't smoke, they smoke top stairs and not top con. Top stairs, not top con. Yeah, so this is open, and I don't know if... Oh, I don't man. know. I don't know what their, what their round's supposed to look like there, but that was just a really nice one-way for Magisk, and uh, pe more people could have been on on Cat and in con. A little too easy. A little too easy. A little too easy. Nice shots, though. That is true. Yeah. Uh, Not-so-nice guns. Quadruple Galil and a scout for Farley. So economically, Astral is starting to kind of feel the heat already. Oh, great flashbang. Zaiwu comes through with the assist for Sphinx and an immediate five versus four. An A4 in the hands of Zaiwu. Look what it got him. Killed. Glaven Zippix able to answer back. And we're talking man advantage Astralis now. And not only that, but they immediately leave A. Yes, they do. But just keeping tabs. But is he also calling for help? Huge questions with this enormous fog of war on middle. They don't know where anyone is. And it just moves into a better spot, but Apex dies inside of the window. And he's starting to move off even over to watch Cat. Dupree gets caught. Nice Ooh. recovery. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. I mean, they don't know where he is, but they know. Yeah, strong so feeling. We'll see if, if Magis can do anything here. Put Glaive at the front of that B expedition. Oh, I just realized we're watching the first rifle round of the CT side. We'll find out on, on some of the spots where people have switched. Mm -hmm. Time to keep our eyes on Sphinx and Co. Now Astralis, no B site wide open. So, uh, four Galils and a scout work out well. But it's Zipix again. You know, a continuation of this good form. Not in a clutch this time around, but just a, an easy does it 3K. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, B anchoring. He was definitely making noise today. Just mopped him up in mid. Look at those X's all stacked on top of each other in window. With a Galil, too. Mm -hmm. He won't get that fourth one, but he's done his job and then some. Magisk. Gonna make this one a little costly. Damn. We, A4 looking good. Yeah, we get it. You don't need the silence stem for whatever. <laughs> some of us aren't that good, okay, Magisk? <laughs> I never lived long enough to shoot all 20 bullets anyways. <laughs> Yeah, that's a privilege. Can, Can he get, get it hang on? Farley's coming. And it's good. Okay. Two survive for Astralis as they get themselves that sixth. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at spots here this round. If, that is if they have money. Really important for the bees. Now they're broke. Zaiwu's got a scout. Little X factor on this one. Madge is going to take the boost, so that's the two guns. Here in mid. M4 and scout. Desert Eagle of Dupree comes to help out. Ooh, early damage. Sphinx getting tagged up. Here comes Magisk on that A4, extending towards top mid. Oh, Zywu, what? With the scout through smoke, connects to Glaive, and with two guns, they have started to turn this one upside down. Bomb needs to be recovered. Glaive's left inside the site. Zipix has options, and if he can catch Apex running around rambunctiously, then now anything is possible. Ooh, some great awareness there. Okay, interesting spot, because crossing the site maybe isn't as easy as it looks. As we can see, Vitality have split this open in mid, and have vision, right? A strong line. They can even assist Magiskin going up into connector. Okay, top con smoke comes through. But there's still timings here. I would, yeah, I totally understand walking through this because there's only two players left. And Glaive. Oh. Oh. 
Not yet. Magis standing on a pedestal, traded out easily by Glaive, but that's 30 health versus Zaiwu. Armor covers him, and he crawls beyond that bench as Glaive is expecting some kind of a stairs peak. Zaiwu getting ever closer, slowly sliding by, wow. and he gets just ahead of the timing so that Glaive doesn't have the crosshair on point and Vitality with two guns. And those two players themselves in Magisk and Zaiwu come out with all five frags. That was nice from Zaiwu. Doesn't go for the bench peak, go for the headshot angle. No, he just skips it. So I have enough time to walk up on this. Glaive low HP, wins the rounds, and... Okay, honestly, this has been kind of an A4 commercial here for Magisk. Amazing shots being hit. He's having a great game. Who only gets that second kill because the third guy bottom mid's got a nade in hand. Mm, yeah. So he found that timing as well, right? Just slips it through. Individual level diff. So they trade back and now Vitality in the pole position with a 2-1 to one lead in rounds. Burgeoning on 13. But the trades back from Blame F are great. That's nice. Couple kills his way. That opens a door for Zipix to slide out from ramp as well. Configs up in Palace when the timing could work. Farley bringing bomb over. Ooh, Zipix. He's got this timing. He's carving his path. Oh, and Config just blasts away Apex from Palace through jungle with the Galil. Oof. No second kill for Magisk though. Dupree stranded on this B site, jumps up into the gunfight versus Blame F. That's going to make the job of Zipix and Config all the easier. And this game keeps on going because Blame F has decided to take things over with those opening two kills in mid. Yeah. And he's even resigning from this trade. Even though they know they have Dupree contained. So they're going to hold him off and actually try to hunt him down here. It's be nice for uh, Astralis to bring this back in. Huge couple of frags. Always finds Zawu up on that bench looking for op kills. Just a nice headshot angle to the top of mid. And the question is, do they actually approach on Dupree in time? And if they want to, so they have their own economy to worry about. Terrorists win. I'll let that A4 slide. Keep three alive themselves. Try to chop that lead down to a manageable level. Couple of impressive T rounds here. For all the CT side, I mean, they actually mix it up a ton. They were playing like a lot of spawn based Rotating stuff. It was really hard to say who played exactly where, yeah. Switching out guns, switching out rolls, switching out spots. So. It gets out the ramp nice and easy. No contest whatsoever. And if there is any, it should come from Dupree and Apex. Magisk's Deagle head hunting, but Molotov forces him off his angle, and that's going to be an easy bomb plant here for Astralis. And he's fragging like crazy, 21 and 8. Yeah. You know, we've seen it before as well, right? Even when there was still uh, still Masuda on the lineup, like... Overpass. Every once in a while, you know, Magisk has a big game. Dupree was kind of looking like Zaiwu's number two. Yes, at first, um, yeah, Dupree was more consistent. Magisk had kind of like config style games. And like. I think, you know, at first, because of the, the, the language change, it felt like Zywu really got hit by that, you know, when the project first got running. Yeah. But now, I mean, so first of all, he's the best at Counter-Strike, but now, I mean, he's just the best at learning English, apparently. Because also, facts. Yeah. Just the best at everything. I think Zywu has caught up to shocks. Well passed. <laughs> I'll have to say. I just have to say. Not quite as cool yet, though. No, that's impossible. I don't think there's any chance of that. Yeah, uh, no, we'll, Shoxy, baby. We'll give him another six years. We'll see. Even in game, the way Shox play, I don't know if anybody will ever be that cool. But nope. le Richard Papillon. Yes. No one swings like Shox. Magisk trying to hold up close. Grenade's good. Ooh, Deke is better. Wow. Right between the eyes, down goes Glaive, and here comes the M4. Dupree trying to throw himself into this mixture. Gunfight goes down inside that A site, and the A4 gets away from him. He still plays A1S. Oh, but who needs guns when you've got Desert Eagles? 
pistols paying off. Three versus three is where we are left. I don't know if Astralis can afford a second round loss like this. Assuming they don't recover. But Config's down to a quarter health. Sphinx's Desert Eagle looking hungry. Oh, man. Zywoo's not too far away. They got one trapped, held hostage here inside a sandwich. He gets out and they go back. But is it is it the case they want to go back to B? When there are pistols alive, that's the most, there's the highest likelihood that they full flank something, they push something. So it, it can uh, sometimes be the best to just pause, wait, go back to the same site. And this could be understood for Vitality as well, but they don't know if there was some lurk earlier on who was leading into B. They go and clear at the market. So Vitality don't want to wait too long. They'll start to come back towards the action. But I can't help but feel like these Deagles are still scary. Apex holding that long angle with the scout into the A site. Oh, default's good. Yeah. Except CT's that's going to elicit yeah, Zywoo's peak. They have that's last smoke. That's it. No CT smoke. Oh, scout did. damage. Farley down to 30. Zywoo buys his time. And because nobody peeks on that bomb plant, maybe they're not going to expect it. More damage in Farley, Farley team kill. <gasps> he killed Zipix. Oh, no. Why does he hate him? Could make things weird. Farley just spinning in circles, holding down that left click. Apex's scout connects. And that means Config's all that's left. We've got a smoke on Apex as well. Is that destined for Palace? Is he going to throw it on Bomb? He just obscures the vision. Config could spray down both, but no. he's dead. And with that, Vitality, nab another. Uh, can I just say... It's a nice shot. It's a nice shot. It was a nice shot. Farley's, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. This one was clean. Yeah, and Matt just has the cannon out today. That was a nice shot from Zaiwu. This is really unfortunate. It does feel like... I, yeah. I see why, because the bullet yeah. bounced... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Two down the drain for Astralis. Tough pills to swallow. So, on the full rifle, Sphinx actually in connector. Dupree has his spot. Damn. Yeah, setting up the Sphinx. So this is more Nico than ever, playing in, into into connector. So new position for him. This could be a tusk tusk of Sphinx. We'll see. Nade lands nicely Ooh, through window. the window. He's yeah. in. He's in. Blames deep. Oh, Real deep. They broke the grate. No one's watching. They have that smoke and window. It's deep enough. This this is one of those rounds. Should be over already. Let's see if they organize it right correctly behind it. Blame F. Gotta wipe. Oh! Taps quick. Last one clean. Yeah. Second kill is critical. That's gonna draw everything over to that B bomb site. So Blame F gets away with the sneak through vent. Yeah. Mm. There, there was a gap on the timing. I think they must have boosted into ladder room if that was the play. Well, no, because ladder room vent is not broken. Oh, that's true. So then the the reason I say that is why did they bust the grate if they didn't need to? Maybe they mollied window for the smoke. So, Strauss took full advantage of that. As soon as you see that open, if you're blamed, you go. your hands just start sweating from excitement. Gobbles up a couple kills towards the B site. And this kind of makes things weird for Vitality. Again, you know, we're talking about a CT side that has two round wins. I, I'll be honest, man. They look Awkward. like the better individuals, but not the better team. They've gotten, like, they've won some weird-ass rounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a real wonky one with, with, again, just, you know, lesser guns. They've had one of those each half so far. That's 33.333% of what they've done so far on defense. We talked about Astralist's marked improvement on T-sides, but a 10-5 first half from Vitality, that, that felt like it was insurmountable. And especially when you start sprinkling in these fumbles. But they're within striking distance. I mean, four rounds is, is no huge gap. And it's going to be cut down to three once Astralis find this. Oh, you're going to say that again. It will be cut down to three, or I'll let you break two more of my toes. <laughs> okay. Well, I wouldn't do that. Any, I mean... 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, that wouldn't even be fun for me. Not even a you, little You don't even step on a bug that's too big and you feel it under your shoe. Oh. Uh, you don't even feel bad for the bug. You feel bad for yourself sure. for having to deal with that. Yeah. I think that's how I'd feel. Yeah. You know, luckily Hugo was with me when I broke it the first time, so he got all the laughs in. Yeah, was he laughing? Oh, I'm, well, no, not laughing. He was concerned at first, but then it just turned into roasting me for the next... Hugo's got to be one of the most compassionate people that I've ever met, I think. So. Honestly, not even. Wow. Just kind of... just Let it out. Kind of turned into like a... He's just a bit of a witness. Okay. Hands off, kind of just observed. Love that, actually. Anything more? What else do we... Let's do throw some Hugo slander out there. Some Hugo... See, the thing with Hugo is it's hard to talk smack because a lot of people love Hugo. Or they're just indifferent. Yeah, that was all, you know? That was one of them. And, uh, yeah, what can I else can I... Let's see, he spent two weeks with me in Montreal. He, uh... He's not a very good cook. Oh, oh no. He's the kind of what guy... He burn? He's the kind of guy who, who meal preps, you know, he'll cook a meal, and yeah. then he'll eat that same meal four days in a row, which is fine, except... This is normal, by the here's way. Here's except. Okay. He won't ever reheat it. He's what? that guy that... What just, do you mean? But he, he just, puts it in the fridge, right? Yeah, man, he just eats his meals cold. All of them? Yeah, man, like Smeagol. You know, just man. like it, raw. Like, is this all British people or just Hugo? This, I think, think it's Hugo, man. Oh, okay. And I need everybody to know. But, but I, yeah, they're since, all weird, though. Since going home, he's made changes. Okay. He's working on it. Ooh. So, so we're vitality. Blind. But work to do because Farley's got the answer and vision over smoke. It's a big gap as well as Magisk being on the left side, but Farley gets away with a second coming around that catwalk. Oh, he's making up for his TK now. They boost up in the window. This is a bit of leverage. Magisk, he is not aware of this, but he turns around. Dink comes in, but Config gets the kill with window mm. and a 3v2. Yeah, notice that vent's not broken this time. Yes. Apex going to hear that movement. You'll be on high alert, expecting this B commitment to come through, and sure enough, bomb's getting closer. Yes, it's a new spot for Apex as well as he picks up uh, the B anchor position where Masuda used to play. Ooh. Oh man, he just has to run all the time, doesn't he? He's really. But it could be almost yeah. confusing. Oh, okay. That would have cost him. Yeah. He said, "I like your M4A4s." <laughs> yeah, let me try it out. <laughs> Blame F still flirting around in middle. Apex peeling himself away from apartments opens up that door that Zipix had so patiently waited for. They're going to jump down into the bomb site, plant this with ease. It really comes down to whether Apex wins this duel towards mid. No kit currently on the two CTs. Confirmation of the B play. Zipix going to walk right into Apex, and Zipix comes in with the kill. So Astralis aren't going down without an incredible T side fight. Yeah. This would be a sick comeback if Astralis figured this out. And they would expose, I think the conversation would have to be that when we look back on the on the half with the rounds of Vitality 1, I mean, none of them were normal. There were, uh, there was an eco, there was the team kill from Farley that allowed them in. There's some great deagle shots and everything off the back of huge individual plays, but it didn't really feel like they had a, a super good game plan with tactics like mid control that was standard that they went into, went for a boost, got two kills in mid, and then came back. Instead, when we look at Astralis and some of the rounds that they won, it's been, you know, Zip, Zipix inside of mid with his 3k. Farley finally, finally finding success with these tactics on his opening op kills. Blame F also getting multi-frags in more standard positions. And so I, I feel like more reliable kills in that sense. Of course, it doesn't mean that they're going to win this game. They're still at a two-round deficit, but it is a good sign. Of course, Blame F calling here, just on Mirage. Pistols again to support Zaiwu's off. Desert Eagles can be deadly. But this Danish T side's rolling. Dupree tucked onto the stairs. Apex wants to shoot. Oh, and he does. Right, right at the right time. Going to tap Farley down to 70. Oh, more damage comes through. Oh, Dupree finishing what Spinks started. Now, they have collected themselves up on Catwalk, right? At least they take map control, but oh, that's Saiwu ready op. with the off. This would be the oh. third time that they win with lesser weapons. Farley just whittled down, oh. ended by Dupree. And now Config with everything to do. One versus five. He'll kick it off with the Frag versus Apex. And who else wants some?
He's got a little room to work. Jumps. Oh. Oh. Sprained ankles, broken toes, and a headshot in from Dupree to give Vitality yet another. You can't be losing those. You actually can't make this three up. times in one best of one. Yeah, three times in one best of one. And they're not, again, they're not complemented by other good rounds. It's just enough. They came out ahead in the beginning. Too many tragedies. They run into this op and fair play. Some of these kills, like the way that Dupree peaked this angle on Farley, that was hard to deal with. Super aware of the op, how it could, how it could fight him. Went down the stairs first, popped up, made that shot as hard as possible. Some nice kills, but this is such a tragedy for Astralis if they lose at this point. Because now we're talking about a game that almost could have been over in favor of them already. That it could. Apex tucked in by Van. Nice flash from Farley. Helps out. As Zipix goes down with just the one kill. Apex trying to hang on here. Looking for the reposition. Gets away from an entire pack of Astralis players. He's got a helping hand in Spinks. We still have Astralis past that get right position. Glaive swinging out, connects to the head. That's two players down inside of the site. Vitality at a man disadvantage. Rotations is taking their time here. And positions known, but check out this from Glaive. That bomb is stuck in this corner. Oh. And the T side do not have the utility to get him out of here. So they're just looking for the duels and the duel connects. Farley opts out. Magisk, Zywu 1v3. He's not oh, even going to play fight, for this. Yeah. Wow. Let's it slide by. Astralis, another lifeline. Good flashes on that exec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get him in. I thought Apex, he was kind of, he kind of MacGyvered the situation. Put into a really awkward spot. Disengaged off the van after getting this refrag. Put his smoke down. Made it hard for them to scale, but jumped back up for another duel. And there were already T's everywhere. So, yeah, you, you can see the lack of chemistry and... Again, I mean, the fact that, again, they have they have changed a lot in terms of where they're playing. So, not exactly comfortable looking. And uh, Astralis won another hard round. But, unfortunately for Astralis, Vitality are saving next round. So, it means their odds have gone up. At this point, man, you, just, you gotta cheer for the Astralis. 15 at least. Those two gut-wrenching losses in the second half. Sprinkle in the third one from the first 15. Man. That's literally what makes the difference right now between I mean, these two. I mean, we're, we're at a point in this half where Vitality are... Two rounds the difference. Oh, it's actually an investment. It's they have money, yeah. All right. Yeah, because they save again next round. Now we don't know what to expect. Single Desert Eagle. Sphinx will take the limitation. Tries absolute damage. B site under stack for the time being. Zywu in from Cat. Blame F. He'll get tagged to 73, but Farley with the opening. They had no escape plan there for Apex. He was smoked out of the bottom of uh, underpass. It's good to stand there if you think a fast connector play is coming in, but they didn't even flash for him to escape, so he dies empty handed. A ramp push coming through. One man, one big man here on the B site with a big op and. Another big man in connector, lurking. Nice flash. Zywu gets nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Didn't even see them. Just knew that they were hitting in that moment and goes down. Astral as clean as can be into that B-bomb site. Magisk, he'll be found out on his run and Blame meth. Blasts away Sphinx and his Desert Eagle. Sweeping away the board of Vitality. Remember, this was the force buy. This was the investment. Yeah. They came in with all they could afford. We're talking Astralis 13, high likelihood for 14, unless they lose versus Pistols again. And then, it's a 30 round game. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest problem is they, they try to play standard CS, right? That's not where they <laughs> excel. A good couple of kills, but I mean, he would have rather taken the save. Astralis making it come true, maybe. And here's the one where, you know, Farley's open any flash. They just don't throw one. They find Apex. And because it's a half buy, of course, you don't have every protocol in place. You just try to try, you know, one scummy idea. See what happens. Blame F, that second kill. White hot. Vitality did the math. They're going to be buying next. 
This game could potentially go 30 rounds. But I absolutely do not want to speak too soon. Vitality having earned that hesitation. Already through connector, blame F. Oh my god. Three more players behind him. They are being corralled in the center of these deagles, but Zipix finds Dupree first. That's a sigh of relief for a moment. Four more counter terrorists on this bomb site. Glaive comes out from Palace. Magus, the only player to deliver two Desert Eagle headshots. Okay. But it's 14 all. Wow. They just walked up into connector, and nice. Dupree was stalwart on his angle to the bench. Waited for a kill to come through. Zipix didn't let him get away with that. And now it's 14 14. Gloves come off. Money's in play. And I'm glad we have the situation where Vitality have to prove they can win on guns to close this out because we got four rounds this half all on islands. No consecutive wins for Vitality no. in the second half of this match. Killer T side versus Vitality. After their worst CT side of the day. They don't know. And even with those questionable rounds, here comes Config, pops out, taps for two. Down goes Dupree. And Astralis are staring a 15th round win in the face. Convert the double man advantage. Magisk, though, draws this back and does so with 100 HP. Nothing connected there from Config in his third gunfight. That sliver of hope starts to creep into the back of Vitality's minds. They've never done anything aggressive with Zaiwu, so it's kind of hard to figure out where he's playing. He's either been uh, over on B or, you know, sitting ticket. And right now, Vitality gambling. There's still there's two here. They'll go back to collect some information. Of course, A is more retakeable, but not when you've got you know one smoke and one HE on the other side of the map. Mm -hmm. nope. Could this be the one here for Astralis? They don't want to drop the ball. I think they're officially saving to the next rounds. All right, with the way this is playing out, they're gonna let it go. Wow, they're they're hoping it's gonna be B. It isn't the case, and Astralis have really done it. They stood up against getting ecoed three times in one half. Come back on the T side of Mirage. And done it versus Vitality. Yes. The biggest win of the day if they can pull it off. If. Big if. Damn. Lesser men would have crumbled. Look at this. Uh, 24 and 17 Zipix. That's huge. Topping the scoreboard. And it's not just one map. He was good today overall. You know, one bad map. Two good ones. Ones that mattered too. Oh, so we're gonna rack up some costs as they try to clear the board of Vitality save. They will lose the op, in fact. So Vitality gonna have to try and recover. Round 30, 15 secured. And config, I mean, this was just hook, line, and sinker. Locked into that position so early, they never saw it coming. One flash to release the tension, and if they knew he was there, they could have just cleared him, but he snuck in there quick. That's huge. A Blind great tactic him. from Astralis. Round 30 underway. Let's see it. One final hurdle from Astralis, and some of these hurdles higher than the others. Uh -oh. oh, doesn't put it out. Glaive just runs right through, dies instantly. And now Config's on recovery mode. Zywoo peeks out from default. Tons of damage, but here's the help from Blamath. Out from Palace, 3v3, health advantage the way of Vitality. They killed everyone but the A anchor. And Magis sits underneath this palace, waiting and waiting, and Zipix not going to see this coming. The barrel of the gun and the bomb dropped in the dirt. A potential further challenge to Astralis on Mirage, if overtime is truly needed. All three deaths as they try to storm their way out ramp. And we saw Apex in a similar round in a three versus two get caught inside of T-Spawn that opened the door to the rotation. And instead this time, he's gonna play it like an anchor. Reconfirms that Astral is still outside this A-site. Yes. And he lets them know they can't just run back and there's more of a fight in A than any, anywhere else, so. There's not enough time to go back and kill him. Apex makes, you know, just the best maneuver, and they clamp down. 30 seconds, and Astralis need to move, or they're going to be staring at OT. 
Oh, insta dinks from the Farmus of Dupree. And Farley 1v3, or this one goes overtime. He is down. He is down. He looks in that uh, sandwich kill versus Zipix, drops the bomb, takes all the life right out of whatever was left in the 3v3. And we go straight to OT. No chance to cool off. We praise Astralis for coming back from that five round CT side, from recovering what were gut wrenching round losses, not once, not twice, but thrice. And now. You gotta close it in OT. Good luck, have fun. Won't be any more ecos here for Vitality. Well, now they're doomed. Now they're doomed. On paper, they're doomed. So we'll see if it pans out. Majisk has, yeah, been the shining light here for Vitality in both halves, and I see he's already down past half. A attack is coming on slow, but methodically. Astralis haven't given up any information or players or damage until now. Ooh, speaks point blank. Oh, but we've got headshots straight back. At least a couple kills the way of Astralis, and Sphinx just shaves the head off config. Curves that bullet over stairs and leaves Farley in a very tough spot. Blown away from the top of ticket. Apex seals the deal. Vitality. They get themselves 16 in OT. They do what they could as clean as ever. Right here, of course, in the first round of overtime. Spink stand up. Huge, huge play from his new position here on connector. Beautiful shot over the top of the stairs. Laser sharp. Just got a glimpse. Barely saw him, yeah. I want to see this this next one. Insane. Four or five bullets into the spray. Looked like last bullet too. USP came out right after. Spinks right back at it. Ooh, nade damage too. They have a plan to take back middle here, but of course, two top boxes, three in fact. Sphinx just swings. Wow. All right. Not a care in the world. It's one for one. Apex trying to connect the dots before they get into connector, but here we go. Farley at the helm. Everyone on this T side right behind him. Zipix holding this position. Apex inside smoke as it fades. Little bits of chip damage. Config comes through with the kill towards Palace. Apex drops bottom mid and Farley just body bags him. Oh, but he looks away from what could have been the kill to Dupree, who just stopped bomb plant. 30 seconds left. No possession of bomb, a hop across, and two kills come through from Astralis. Okay. 16 all tied again. Yeah, hey man, they're doing a good job of kind of surveying the pressure, waiting a little bit. They got Sphinx to just, I mean, go across the window like it was nobody's business. I think it would have looked less absurd if there was somebody else to swing with him, someone on Cat, a flash over Khan with it or whatever, but instead, you know, he just gets that kill, gets a little bit of info. Everyone else just falls apart. Straw is keeping up. Two ops again. Farley opens. Traded quick. Get some good impact out of Farley as well here. He's got a chip on his shoulder after that team kill. Uh, he's recovered. Ooh, Apex spots bodies. He's got Dupree to try and help. Oh, goes at it again. Zipix caught trying to turn. Four versus two. Vitality looking for majority rounds on the defense. Config sliding around through jungle. Spink's not going to give him the duel just yet. Going to make him go that much deeper. Trying to let them make their own bed. But we'll see. It's not unwinnable, right? We have full nades. Got two teammates who have played together for some time. 
an open A site to put the bomb down. Their favorite map. The last chance here on T side. Let's see what they can do. Blame F and config. Full belt of utility for config as well, but oh, as he plays with those grenades, Dupree will clip his hands. Blame F honing in on this one. Nice headshot into Zywu. Quick reposition. Two frags for Blame. Ten health left. Bombs planted out in front for him. Tons of utility here for the CTs. A couple shots as Dupree pushes in, and with enough time, they'll take it. That's 17 to Vitality, two of three CT round wins. Wow, they pulled off that retake. Unfortunate, I think Blame asked for a grenade, and uh, Config gets spotted, so nice patience from Dupree. It pays off. And the retake is successful for Vitality, two CT rounds. I can't but help but feel like that takes off some pressure here. But again, it's certainly not done. Jin can't help but feel like they're going to make the most of him. Farley and Config, yes, both in, in fact by the Ops. All right. Those two versus Zywu. Oh, and Config instantly denies all the mid information. So I I feel like that's a good amount to... They didn't see anyone cross boxes. And the only way you can do this is by making the cat jump this early. But they haven't rotated over to Zipix just yet. Could be a fake in any direction, of course. So they slide back through their spawn towards A. Interesting. They've changed it up. A little bit of movement. Blame F. Starting to think about that B hit. This is going to put pressure onto the shoulders of Farley. Yeah, we saw Mahone break down the play. Work late through the smoke in the site to connect triple to default and peek in for a kill. But will Farley do the same or will he sit back and wait for the retake in CT? And will Glaive have a chance to come back and help? Three smokes left for Vitality. Off duel between Farley and Zywu. Neither sniper goes down. Glaive already very wounded. 8 HP. All he's got. He's also got Blame F not too far off. 35 seconds. And it's Magus to go down to the measly 8 health of Glaive. Sphinx gets that trade back, and then we get Farley with the op dual one. A second here from Farley. No third kill to the top of Tetris, no. And Sphinx creeping in through connector. He's got a player close. It's Convict combat opping, and they pass positions. This opens a door to Sphinx, but meanwhile, everybody's just holding on to the little cover that they've got. They shake hands, and it's a retake indeed needed. Dupree comes through with a headshot. Sphinx can't catch Blame F inside that smoke. Dupree looking for another clutch. Zipix gets it, oh. and it's Astralis to tie 17. Damn, they made it happen. That was a tough one to calculate with the amount of action going on in that situation, but they figure it out. Oh, Sphinx definitely looked very confused there. And another great round actually out of Farley. He does re-aggress. It's just a little bit later on, a similar smoke, and he gets a lot of value out of it. And a beautiful spray from, spray from Zipix. You can see Dupree falling off the box knowing, like, I'm just going to take CT control if I get this kill. So he was mm -hmm. half working on that idea while he was going for that spray. But Zipix's aim, and I feel like a couple months ago, Zipix you know, was the kind of player to, to fail that kill. Fair. Today, he's yep. way more reliable. Improvements and improvements, and a return to form. Most amount of kills for Astralis at the moment. In a game to take that top seed in Group A. From losing to the Ninjas at the start of the day to getting a win over every other play team in their group. If. Two rounds to close. Zywu eats the flash, gets back. Config standing on top of the bricks. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that position from Dupree is perfect. Magisk on chair kind of leads Config to have to scramble back. And as he scrambles, he gets punished. Caught, killed, dealt with. Blame F's responsibility to try and recover him and Glaive with the crossfire top connector. But Sphinx is over towards that palace. Molotov goes in. Glaive catches Magisk sleeping, looks the wrong way, but Dupree out from the corner. So the man advantage held on to the critical 18th round will be picked up. And Blame F iced out by Dupree.
Farley has to turn attention. He needs to be sharp, and he'll drop that bomb. Oh, a he second. got it! A one from Farley. Zippix answers. Spinks needs to do everything. Smoke over towards the ramp. 20 seconds remain. Spinks has to run across the open, and Zippix is going to give him that chance. <gasps> the barrel of the gun's been spotted. Zippix goes down at a sprint towards this B site. No time. He has to turn it back. Farley now knows it needs to be A, and Farley escapes down ramp. A bomb plant necessary. He's got the time, and Farley gives him the space he plants, and the retake needed. Time to come up big for 18. 1v1. And Sprinks just keeps this crouched on default. Farley goes high. Spinks waits. Damage one way. Farley caught falling oh. back, and the USP's enough. Astralis with 18. You kidding? Oh my god. I, I'm happy for Farley. Missed that first shot. I remember last time Spinks whipped in a situation like that. I'll be honest. But this second kill, Critical. that was all time. That was all time, baby. That's the FPX Farley that they hired. Ooh. Gets uh, away with the sidearm. No! That was huge. Yeah! And that makes up for the TK. All right, now it's all good. Yeah. And That's behind us now. That's round for round. Wow. Thought that was Sphinx's round wrapped up as soon as Farley gave him the space. Second chance to close it, but... Vitality 5v4. Blame F dead in an instant. I think Dupree makes sound crossing over. He's like, show me config. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. And that opens up Farley to move over towards market. So, I mean, he's been impactful multiple times towards OT. He's getting 2Ks, and he's going to deliver again. Okay. From a 4v5 oh, okay. to a 4v1. Zywoo's got an answer, but Config's got the call.